Welcome back to 13 News at 11 o'clock. You know, before the pandemic, one in eight Hoosiers did not know where their next meal was coming from or even when. In fact, Gleaner's Food Bank says that number has doubled because of the coronavirus. And no doubt drivers for Gleaner's, they are essential workers. Tonight, our Sarah Jones takes us along for the ride to serve more families in need. Here at Gleaners in April, they provided more than 6 million meals. That's more than twice as many as they did last year for the same month. And that's because demand is up due to the pandemic. Meeting that demand would have been impossible if it wasn't for the truck drivers. Each truck can hold about 15 to 16,000 pounds. Each day, Mike delivers probably 10 to 12 pallets, a full box truck. In a day, we're probably doing seven to eight stops. Some days, it might be 10 to 12. Mike has been picking up and delivering food for gleaners for about six years. And he's seen how the economic fallout of this year's pandemic has impacted Hoosiers. Our stops haven't changed. It's the amount of food that we're giving out. Small pantry, they might say they only got 500 pounds of food. They might be getting 1,200 to 1,500 pounds now. It's more mobile pantries heading out. We used to have about 150 families. These mobile pantries I'm doing now can hit anywhere from 300 to 600 families. Last Saturday, Gleaners took it to a whole other level. They held their first ever mega mobile pantry. It was amazing. Just knowing 5,000 families went through that line. You gave 5,000 families food that night to eat. And then especially kids and stuff. A lot of us are one paycheck away from being in that line, deciding if we need medicine or food. It's opening up a lot of eyes that this country really needs us. Hopefully someday it won't be that way, but we are there to help them out in crisis like this. It's sad, but also I am very grateful that God has put me in this position to be able to help this out. I really thank God that God had a purpose for me to be here. And he says he'll continue to be there until he retires. We certainly thank Mike for his spirit of generosity and giving. Thank you so much. And you indeed are an essential worker, and we're thankful for you. Gleaners is hosting a second mobile pantry at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. That will take place from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you are able and allowed to line up beginning at 8 a.m.